Hi friends, in this video we're going to talk about how to set up Grafana in Windows. We're going to cover how to download, install, configure Grafana, how to start and stop Grafana service, how to install plugins in Grafana, how to create dashboards in Grafana, how to uninstall Grafana. So let's get started. So if you don't know what Grafana is, Grafana is an open source data visualization, analytics and alerting platform. I've already made a video on introduction to Grafana and its features and I will leave the link of that video in the description. So first let's try to download Grafana. To download Grafana, let's go to this site grafana.com slash grafana slash download and here you can select the edition as OSS which means open source software. There is also an enterprise version but we are covering the open source version today and you can select the version if you want. By default it selects the latest version and once you select the open source and version, scroll down and click on the windows and click on the windows installer. Now we are downloading the windows installer. So after you download the windows installer, just double click on this and just click next, next, that's all. And now the system is installing. All right, the installation is completed. Let's try to click finish. So since the installation of Grafana is completed, now you can access Grafana in your browser. So after installing Grafana, go to localhost 3000 because Grafana by default runs on the port 3000. So let's go to localhost 3000 and we are shown this login screen. The default username and password is admin admin. So let me try it admin and admin and then it's asking for a new password. Let's try to set a new password. So I've set my new password. Let's try to submit that and now we are into Grafana. So we have installed Grafana. So how does Grafana run? Grafana runs as a Windows service and you are accessing it through the browser because it's like a client server architecture. So now I've installed Grafana. Suppose I want to stop Grafana or restart Grafana or I want to disable the Grafana service itself. How can I do that? It's really simple. Go to the Windows services. So I'm going to go to the Windows button and write services. You can see the services app. Click on that and here search for Grafana. And since Grafana is installed, you are seeing this Grafana service here. You can see the status is running that means the server is running and that's why you are able to access it in the browser and one more important thing is the startup type is automatic that means grafana starts at system reboot so if you make it as manual instead of automatic grafana will not start by its own on system reboot you have to manually start grafana let's try to see that now double click on grafana see the startup stripe and it's automatic you can make it disabled that means grafana will not run at all and you can make it manual that means you can start grafana by right clicking on the service or you can make automatic that means grafana will start automatically when the system is started so these are the startup type options which will be useful let's try to close this and now if you want to stop grafana service just right click and stop it and if you want to start grafana right click and start it you can even restart just right click and restart the grafana service so this way you can control the grafana service in the server where you are installing grafana and the next thing is viewing Grafana logs. Grafana creates logs that are stored in the log folder. It's located in this folder path, C program files, Grafana labs, Grafana data log. These logs can be useful to debug the issues while running Grafana. That means Grafana is not opening or you're getting some errors. So how to debug them? You can use the logs of Grafana. So let's try to see where the Grafana logs are stored. So I'm going to go to the C folder, program files, and you'll find this Grafana labs and grafana inside that you have data and inside that you have the log folder and here are the logs created so let's try to double click the grafana.log and this is the log file you can see the logs are created here there are info logs and if you have some error you may get some error logs also so these logs can be useful while debugging the grafana issues so this is how you can view your grafana logs in your program files folder and the next thing is how to change the theme time zone or organization name so in grafana you can search for menus very easily using this search bar. So let's go to the search bar and let me try to write something like theme. And here you got the option change theme. Click on the change theme. You can make it to dark or light. Let me try to make it as light. Now my Grafana is light theme or else I can go to theme, change theme, dark. And you can also go to something called preferences. There is something called default preferences. Go to default preferences and you can change your organization name update organization name change the theme from default to light or dark you can do it here also or else make the default which will select the theme of the pc my pc theme is by default dark theme that's why i got dark theme in grafana and you can change the time zone to your local time zone like india us etc 
by default it takes the local time zone so my default time zone is india ist so this is how you can use the default preferences section to do some main settings like theme and organization name or time zone so we have seen some settings here let's try to see some more configurations of grafana so in c program files grafana labs grafana you have a folder called conf and you can configure grafana using the default sort ini file let's try to right click and open with notepad so this is just a text file where you have settings let's try to open this file with vs code because you can get some nice syntax highlighting there so i'm going to open it with vs code so this is the defaults.ini file of Grafana and you can configure a lot of settings here. Let's try to see the first setting. Let's try to change the port of Grafana. Currently Grafana is running on port 3000, right? So if you want, you can just do control F and search for port. Here you can see HTTP port. And there is a section called server. In the server section, you can change the server details like what is the IP address, what is the port. So in HTTP port, if I make it as 3001, Grafana will run on 3001 port instead of 3000. And there is one more configuration called HTTP address. Currently, it is not given anything. That means Grafana will listen on all IP addresses. But if I write HTTP address equal to localhost or 127.0.0.1, Grafana will listen on only that address. It can't be accessible through other IP addresses. Or else, you can use the internal IP address here so that people can't accidentally open it through the public IP. In this way, you can change the IP address at which Grafana is hosted the port at which Grafana is hosted and you can even use SSL and specify the domain name also but we will not cover that but you have settings for that here you have the certificate key certificate file and you have the protocol you can change it to HTTPS so these are some of the server settings and the next thing is the database section let's try to do control F and use the database section and in the database section you can see there is SQLite 3 that means Grafana is by default using a file based database called SQLite 3 to store it configuration in all the state so if you want to use a postgres database or a mysql database you can just change the type to mysql or postgres and then grafana will use that database to store its state settings etc for load balancing or high availability you can use other databases like mysql or postgres but for simple single node instance sqlite 3 is okay and the next important section is security so let's go to security section and here you can set the default admin user, admin password, what is the email address of the admin user, what is the secret key used for signing or encryption and some cookie security etc. So all the security details of Grafana can be configured here. And the next important section is the SMTP section where you can configure the mail server. Suppose you configure alerts in Grafana, so how can Grafana send emails? Grafana can send emails through this SMTP section. So suppose you have a Google account and you create an app password in Google. You can use that Google details and configure the SMTP section. Then Grafana will use your Gmail to send mails. Or if you have your own email server, you can configure the SMTP details here so that Grafana will use that email server to send emails. And the next section is log. So in the log section, you can define what is the levels of logging that can be done by Grafana. By default, it's info logging. Suppose you want to see only the warning logs or the error logs, you can change that from these options. That means instead of info, I can write warn. So that's it guys. This is about the defaults.ina file of Grafana using which you can configure the behavior of Grafana. So there is this documentation of Grafana at Grafana docs, Grafana, setup Grafana, configure Grafana. I've already given the link in my references of the blog post. So at this page, you can see the configuration options of Grafana and you can refer this page for more configuration details of the Grafana's default.inf file. All right, we have seen how to configure Grafana. Now let's do some fun things. Let's try to create some dashboards in Grafana. So I'm going to go to the Grafana's home by clicking on this icon and then I'm going to go to this hamburger page and go to dashboards and here you got the dashboards management page. You can even search for the dashboards page. So I'm going to go to write dashboards so I got my dashboards page. So I'm in the dashboards page. Let's try to create a new dashboard. You can click on this create dashboard button or go to this new, new dashboard. Now you got a new dashboard and you need to add some visualizations, right? So let's try to add a visualization. That means let's try to add a panel to this dashboard. So click on add visualization. You can click on this button or you can go to add visualization. So by default, Grafana is giving you some visualization. This is a time series plot and the data source is default grafana database so it's like a random data since we did not link any database or any data source to grafana just to show the features by default it's using the grafana's database and you can see there is one query called a and here the query type is random walk 
let's try to copy this query and create a second query b it is also a random walk let's try to reload this now now you got two series a and b so this way using queries you can create multiple series in the grafana's panel and here you have a lot of styling options you can see the legend visibility is on let's try to make the visibility off now you can't see the legend click it on and you can make it the table mode or you can give it a right legend and you can even change the graph styles like making the line width more or creating some fill opacity or you can even go to the gradient mode let's say to increase some fill opacity and then you can add some opacity the graph looks cool that way and you can even stack the graphs so stack series normal so you are stacking one series over the other and then stack series 100% that means you can see the ratio of the two graphs currently you can make it as normal so one graph above the other and then you can even select the units and there are a lot of options you can search for the options here directly let's say to search for color or else you can search for the line width graph styles line width or else you can search for legends so this way using the search bar you can easily go for any configuration you want and change the appearance of the graph all right that's how you can configure some time series visualizations in grafana let's go to save this and let's try to make it something like a new dashboard save and you got a new dashboard here and if you want to add one more panel just click on this add visualization and the same thing again save this save go to your dashboard you got your new visualization you can just move it here you can even resize your visualization let's try to move it down and resize this a little bit so this way you can use grafana to create visualizations and you can resize them and save them let's try to save this dashboard save this and in the dashboard section you can see your new dashboard let's try to click on this and you can even rename the dashboard let's go to the settings of this dashboard and make this title as my dashboard save dashboard and in the dashboard section now you can see my dashboard so this way you can create dashboards and you can create visualizations in the dashboard so that's a very simple introduction of how to create dashboards in grafana again when you go to home search for the menu called dashboards and then you can see your saved dashboards all right we have covered dashboards now let's start to talk about plugins so plugins are a way to extend grafana's functionality using third party plugins so there is this command called grafana cli and using that command you can actually install plugins with a single command let's try to see how it's done so in the c program files grafana instead of the config folder go up and see the bin folder inside the bin folder you have the grafana cli.exe so let's say to open a command window here i'm going to right click and open the terminal here so here i can go to grafana cli.exe and say plugins install you have to write the plugin id so if you want to know the plugins id go to the grafana marketplace and find the plugin id so i'm going to go to the browser and i'm going to do a google search for grafana plugins and here you got grafana plugins let's try to go to this page and here you can search the plugins so let's try to search a plugin called grafana image renderer so there is this grafana image renderer and suppose i want to use this plugin in my grafana i will go to the installation page and here there is a command grafana cli plugins install grafana image renderer so let's try to copy this id and in the command line i'm going to write grafana plugins install grafana image renderer let's try to click enter yeah it's telling it's not a writable directory because i did not open it in administration mode so i'm going to open a command prompt as administrator and then i'm going to copy this path and i'm going to write cd the path and i'm going to write grafana cli.exe plugins install the plugin id all right let's hit enter all right grafana has installed the plugin let's try to restart grafana because it's asking to restart grafana to see the plugin so let's try to go to the services again and here i'm going to go to the grafana service right click and restart grafana service and now let's go to localhost 3000 and here i'm going to search for plugins and inside the plugins i can search for grafana image and renderer so i got grafana image renderer installed in my grafana you can see it's installed here so by using the grafana cli i was able to install a grafana plugin so if i want to remove this plugin i can write grafana cli plugins remove grafana image renderer so i'm going to write grafana cli plugins remove grafana image renderer click on enter it's telling access is denied let's try to stop the grafana now and now let's try to run the command again grafana cli plugins remove grafana image renderer and then it's removed the plugin now let's try to right click and start the grafana let's try to search again i'm going to reload this 
and you don't find any Grafana image renderer. And this way using Grafana CLI, you can install plugins. You can also download the plugins zip folder, unzip it and also you can keep it in the data plugins folder. You can also install plugin offline like this. You can use the Grafana CLI or you can download and keep the folder in the plugins folder. Both of these can install a plugin in Grafana. In this way you can install Grafana plugins. And the next thing is how to uninstall Grafana. Since we have installed Grafana using a Windows installer, you can just write something like uninstall a program, go to add or remove programs and here search for the app called Grafana. I got Grafana OSS. All right, let's try to stop the service and then let's try to uninstall Grafana. And that's it, Grafana is uninstalled. You can also see the C program files and you can see the Grafana labs folder. You can also shift delete this so that you can permanently delete the Grafana labs folder also. Now we have uninstalled Grafana and also removed the data of Grafana from our computer. So uninstalling Grafana is also very simple. So that's it guys. In this video we have covered how to download, install, configure, start or stop Grafana, install plugins in Grafana, configure dashboards in Grafana and how to uninstall Grafana. You can see I have created a blog post on setting up Grafana in Windows. I have given you the snapshots, steps and comments so that you can copy paste and practice it in your own computer. I have also given you the references to the official documentation so that you can do further reading about configuring Grafana. So please be sure to check out the link of this blog post in the description of this video. Please ask questions or post your valuable feedback in the comment section. Hope you like this video guys. Thank you for watching. Peace.